Lord. Whatever that may be. Say hello to my new friend. Your transmission has been terminated. What's good, you stankin' booty, motherfucker? Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> What's, good? What's good with y'all? What's good, subscribers? This is your boy, Top Dot, and welcome to Dot Block Podcast. This is the podcast where it's me and my friends, and we just go loose on topics. You know what I'm saying? So, my first guest on the Dot Block Podcast is my Brodies, my Ace, my my boom coon, my ninjas, man. My boy Dave Gunn. Say what's good, my guy. Doo -doo. You heard that. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? We in it. We in it. We in it. So, this is what we doing on the Dot Block Podcast. We break down three topics. We give y'all a certain amount of time on those three topics. And then, hey, at the end, you might get some bonus content. Something special. But... You only can do that if you are subscribed to the channel. So stop, hit that subscribe button, slide over, hit that bell so you can get the notifications so you can see whenever Dot Block Podcast drop, because it's going to be one of them hot things. Y'all already know. Then leave a comment so we at least know y'all been here. So y'all might be featured on this thing one time if you're talking good enough. But let's start the show, man. So. Our first topic for today is art of simping. I did a video about this. The art of simping. Good and bad. So I'm going to let my bro take the reins, the beginning reins of this one. And then y'all going to see how we roll. So what you feel about cats out here simping? No. Yeah, no. Simpid is basically Simpid is uh is basically like be it's short for being a simpleton. It basically is like uh I don't want to say no names, man. Oh, that's how you mean it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't wanna say no names, but we know a few. <laughs> I, I, I I I promise I wouldn't say no names, but we know uh, we know a few, bro. We know a few. Man. Niggas are simple because it's easy to be simple, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just easy, man. It's hard. It's hard to be complex. It's easy to be simple, and it's more simple people than complex people. So, they got more repetitive. Takes more money. True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be over. It's simple. It's like, I got, <laughs> like I was saying in the video before, simping, it's not a bad, it, it could be a decent thing if you're simping for the right reasons. Let's say, like, uh, you got a, you remember the, the story of uh, the Timmy dude who who was, uh, he was, like, all messed up, and I guess, uh, what was that, what was that, that, that fable where, like, everybody gave Timmy, like, love and he could walk again? I don't know, I might just be messing that whole thing. Uh, that Christmas tale. Remember that little Christmas tale? And they always talk about... The Christmas tale. Yeah. The, no, it's like a certain Christmas tale, and um, they were talking about not um, Timmy was the name of the dude. It was like Timmy something, and his. E what I do know, they got some good weed in Florida. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> but they got some good weed in Florida. Yeah, they do. 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 It could be a good or bad thing, but if you got like, like, like I said, if you got somebody like who, who got a special needs child, and you being, you basically, that's not being a simple thing. That's just being a man. Like if you help and taking care of somebody, somebody's not yours, but also that person has a, a ailment. That's partly, you know, that's just being a good dude. But being a simple thing is like letting a girl kids beat on you. For real, that's being a simp. Like, you know, they just not your kids. All of a sudden, her, her 14, 15-year-old son come up to you like, nigga, shut up. Boom. Give you a nice little right hook. And you just, you don't do nothing. You just, basically, you just sitting there and taking it because you want the mama to like you. So, I guess being a simpleton, 
or being a simp helps the mama <laughs> help the mama like you more, I guess. But I, me, I'm not letting nobody, 14 year old son, come up and do nothing to me. No. No, I'm not letting nobody do anything to me. No, no, that's not no gonna work. I'm gonna get up. No, no, no. That, I was just trying to explain it. But it is, it is situations like that, though. It is situations like that. Like, dudes just basically get obliterated by man. We don't, like, once again, we don't appeal situations like that. But no names will be named, but we know a few situations like that, my brother. And ah, it's sad, man. That, that shit is sad. Like, you, ah, man. I don't see how you you as a man or a woman can sit there and let somebody else just treat you like dirt just because you like them or you want them to like you. Yeah. Some people like that. Some people just want to be with somebody. You want to be with somebody better than You'd be surprised what you put up with. Yeah, yeah. You will I've be. Seen, I've, I've, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Yeah. I done seen some shit. Like situation, I'll be like, man, come on, for real? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think I got, I probably did get, I got bit by the sit bug once or twice. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a victim by that motherfucker. Simpleton language. That would be simpleton language. You would be like, "What do you want? What can I do for you? I don't care nothing about myself. What can I do for you?" It should be a fair amount of exchange in relationship. Yeah. But the key word is fair. Fair. You understand? It can't be just insanity, man. It can't just be. You can just go do anything, and I'm just sitting over here waiting for you to come home and shit. Yeah, like you know, way around people. Yeah, like a lost puppy. You on the block, you that's what you get. You get all type of you get all type of truths. No matter what shape or form they come in, you get you get the truth somehow. You know what I'm saying? They, like they say every lie start off with some bit of truth. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it may not come in the form people want it to come in, but if if you know you simping and somebody call you out for it, you can't you can't be mad. You gotta get over being a simp. So, with that, with, with that being said, that issue <laughs> segues it kinda into the second, second segment we'll we'll go with, which is you know what I'm saying, those guys, those guys being people such as my brother was saying, me most of the people he mentioned are real people. Ah. Uh, I'm close with all of them. All of my people. You know what I'm saying? I love all of them. Um, my brother, on the other hand, he, he got love for a few of them. The, the rest of them, he could care less about. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the truth. I got, I got love. I got love for Will. You know we got our thing. I got love for Big Will. Okay. Well, Russell here. I want to cut some of on fire. Hey. So the, everybody that <laughs> is mentioned in there, y'all already know how my brother feel about y'all. <laughs> we we uh we we'll eliminate. I I yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Everybody within that crew, they already know what it is. But that segues into those guys. Those guys, meaning the people that you know that just be hard-headed against facts. You know, not simping. Let's put that on pause for a second. Let's say people that just know it's a road that's open in life and still trying to take the detour that's heading to nowhere. Those type of guys. The ones that, the ones that don't like success. And when they see you being successful, they got 110 things to say that ain't right. Those guys. You know what I'm saying? Those guys. The ones that when you go to interject on some, I, I just want you to know this for future reference type things, they turn around and say, oh, you think you're smarter than me, or you think you're better than me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't like those guys either. Those type of guys. Me, <clears throat> I can't stand those type of people. Because everybody, wow. you can always learn something, no matter how smart you is. I don't care. I, well, I think... That's important. Yeah. Life is that's knowledge. What, that's, I mean, no, that's what picking up about them kind of niggas. Them kind of niggas, you can't... Them niggas, you can't tell nothing. They're small enough to figure it out themselves, but they ain't did it yet, mm-hmm. and they don't want you telling them. Yep. Yeah. They don't want you telling them to do it. They were smart, but they, they were smart. They were like, the end result is to do it. Not yep. whether you came up with the idea or not, the end result is the end result. It's just to nah, do it. I got that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just to do it. Let's just do it. Don't talk about it. Let's do it. But you know, niggas is bad. Niggas is hard. Niggas is hard. Niggas is hard. You try to tell them shit. You try to put them on shit. They might not be ready for it yet. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or oh, niggas tell you, you know, you ain't need it. I don't know. I'm not a position you want it right now. Hey. You can do this. I might be the harbinger of you doing it. That, that might have been my job. Mean, Exactly. That's what I, I was supposed know. to do. I was supposed to come tell you you slip it. You slip it. Get that get that going. Man. You gotta be a a close a true part of intelligence knows that he thinks the part of everybody. Yeah. If you think it's more than everybody, then you probably don't everybody. Exactly. That's what they say. Uh, <laughs> a fool is the only person that thinks he's smarter than everybody in the room. That's the truest fool. Yeah. Yep, you're not. People got different life experiences. You just don't know. Just don't know. There's niggas with skills that you just never thought to have. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You just never think of. You wouldn't even like you said. You wouldn't thought to have. It could be something that you want to learn. But that person has a unique way of teaching that you can learn it, the way you need to learn it. So you can learn it because people that's learn it that's different that's ways. That's true as hell. Like brainiac niggas, you try to collect all the knowledge. Yeah. All you try to do, you try to all the knowledge. You don't know shit. You don't know what you know, but it's still more to find, and you can find that, and then you learn it. So, so if somebody told it to me, or if I read a book, or how the fuck I come across the information? I just want the information. Yep. Just need the information. I just need the. I don't care. I don't care if a small child tells me some shit that I ain't never heard before. I'm gonna take it to heart. I'm like, I ain't never heard. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, I don't, like, wow. you know what I'm like, I don't care who I learn it from, as long as I learn it. Yeah. I don't care if an infant came yeah. out and threw a pacifier and it floated. As long, I'm like, how he do that? Little dude, when you get older, you're going to tell me how you do that. I need to know that. Yeah. But people, I think it's, those guys are the ones that, that don't want you to, uh, I don't, like you say, don't want you to tell them stuff. But those guys be the same ones that be begging for the dollars that you tried to teach them before. Would it come time for them to learn it? And they should have been learning. Smart people know, like, hey. No, they don't have come. They don't have come. They come for the rewards. Yep. The spoils. You couldn't tell a lot of people, but now they've done it. Now they've said, well, give me some of yours. Yep. Now they're going to give you some of yours. Now they're going to give you some of yours. Now they're going to give you some of yours. Now they're going to give you some of yours. Now they're going to give you some of yours. Now they're going to give you some of yours. Now they're going to give you some of yours.
Yep. Even some of you are, and I'm going to put that big head and say, no, nigga, I told you how to get it. Same time I'm getting it. We can have double right now because we can both have it. Yep. Now you won't have. Now you can get two cups of meat in half. You know what I'm saying? Like, less than that is what you don't mean to say. Nope, at all. Mm-hmm. And even if it did this together when I was doing it. Soon as I started, I said, hey, I'm doing this. So long. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. Right. Okay, don't do it then. Right. Now you're one of them guys. You're one of them guys that's looking from the sideline because we one of those guys that listen to what we need to listen to. Now we we skating with what we're supposed to be skating with while everybody else is over there complaining. Like, man, they think they're better than us. No, we try to tell you that you could have had this just like we got it, but you didn't want to listen or adhere to none of the knowledge that we were trying to give you. And you just basically said, screw off. I ain't trying to hear that. Okay. Cool, we took our knowledge, rolled on with it. Now, look, we flourishing, and you back there still struggling. Exactly. 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 We know. Yeah. We know people like that. Man, I, I, I hope in these times, people take time to get smarter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Learn something. You got really, really, really to really sit down. You really can't go nowhere for a minute. Work on yourself. Learn something. You know what I'm saying? Just learn about yourself and what's wrong and how you can fix it. And so yep. when the world opens back up, you're not a dummy. Two of them come out a little bit smart. Yeah, just a little bit. So bro, what the fuck is wrong with it? If you just lock up in your career for fucking three months, you come out, you got money, everybody's everybody going to have money. Yeah. But if you're still stupid, you can just. It's a waste. It's a waste. Yeah. You can come and get a respect to somebody else. You can go come out and, and do something stupid when you're a dummy. Yeah, you could have been researching, get business started. You could have been like, okay, <laughs> when I get up out of here, I'll put it this, that, the fifth. All that. I've been seeing niggas taking like DD courses and shit. Like, this shit you've been doing in the house, nigga. Yeah. You'd be surprised at the amount of shit that you could do from inside your home. Yeah. Especially if you're proving yourself and shit, nigga. You can always work out. You can always read a book. Always. You can always. get on your phone and pull up and anything on Google and shit. Like, Always. You can research stuff. You can get smarter at craft. You can get better at a craft that you're trying to perfect. You can get smarter yeah. at it with knowledge that you need to know. Like you say, it's Google. You ain't got to just uh, yeah. binge on Netflix and Disney uh, Plus and Hulu and all that. No. Watch well, the Discovery Channel. Yeah. You can use those platforms better. They got documentaries. on things, it's always, it's always been there. It's just most niggas don't even know it's there. Like, it's, yeah, there's a documentary about things that you didn't know about was always on Netflix, but you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. All-American. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you watch the fucking All-American and Ozark and shit, and you didn't even know it was a fucking documentary that they can't go right. And mm-hmm. you didn't know. Because you, you, you never watch it. And, you know, Netflix is wrong with the algorithms and shit. So if you don't watch it, it's not going to spin up. No. And then you see how, um, how the Tiger King... With the Tiger King documentary, didn't yeah. nobody know about doing them, but now they talk about them. Never, I have never know. I yeah. never knew about dude. No Tiger yeah. King, no Carol Baskin, yeah. no. none of them. Now yeah. they who? Nope. Now what everybody know about. Yeah. Just cause they yeah. just, people sat t- sat down and somebody was like, "Yo, that's why everybody know about that um secret ter- terrorist movie." That got removed from um, Netflix. I say everybody know about that. Yeah, it's it's a movie uh, that was on Netflix called The Secret uh, Secret Life of Terrorists or Secret Something Terrorist, and it was like T E R R I U S, and it was all about the basically the coronavirus. It was like some dudes, uh, two doctors from America and the Chinese doctor set it up to where um, they went and basically mixed the SARS virus with the AIDS virus and came up with the Corona thing and wanted to basically test it. You know what I mean? And basically when they got to the part, I guess where they was testing it and everything, that's when the show just got pulled. Yeah. Yep. And it got snatched off Netflix. Like yeah, it's been going around. Uh, I seen it. I seen it myself. I watched like, Part of it, you know me. I watched like part of it, and then I, I fucked around and seen the anime, and was like, oh, shiny, something shiny, and I just went towards the shiny thing, and just kind of left that movie alone. But when 
by the time I went back to go around to watch it again, everybody was like, shit, that's it, gone. It's out of here. I was like, shit, it's out of there? Like, that is. Like, yeah, it's done. Nah, man, you got nothing to think about that last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they, they like, hey, 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 <laughs> chill out, chill out. Boy, we, we know something in that segue into the last part. That segue into the third and final segment of our podcast, which is what the hell we finna do when we get the hell about this quarantine thing? Me, I know what I'm finna do. I'm probably gonna take a long walk from my house probably to my job. Just cause it's not that far away from my house, so I can walk right up the street to it. And I might just go kick it in uh, the theme parks when they open that back up. Just for the hell of it. Yeah. Whatever they say, I'm still staying here for like another week or two. And here with that, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Nothing, no. nothing different. Nothing. Go out the week. Go, uh, go record a song. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, basically, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to go find, I'm going to try to I'm find, gonna, uh, I'm going to look forward to the party. There's going to be some parties. There's going to be some, a lot of parties. There's going to be some crazy, oh, man, it's going to be like a, that scene in the matrix, man. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. It's gonna be a lot of block parties too. Yep, people gonna be out here like, boy, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yep, like let's do it. Yeah. I know I'm not. I'm probably gonna go to like uh, one or two restaurants. Probably not too much. I ain't gonna go too crazy. But when they, like you say, when they say we come out, I'm basically going to. Go see if I can rent an office space, um, so I can be doing. You know, I can have somewhere to go uh, like early morning when I want to do shows and everything like that. And I can buy like equipment and put it there, and I have to worry about it getting stolen because I can have insurance and everything on that. And I'll have places where our guests can come when I'm doing like you know live podcasts or or just doing videos. Period. Um, then that'd be like a it's a second getaway because if I just want to go chill somewhere I could just go to the office and chill there for like an hour or two do some videos yeah. about some little videos you know what I'm saying do some little thumbnails and uh, some little editing and some damn um, publishing not publishing but uh, um, yeah, I'm off got sharing and all of that you know Stuff like that, promoting. That's what I meant to say. Promoting. I'm gonna take a goddamn. I'm gonna take a motherfucking trip somewhere. I know that. that oh yeah. Sure. I'm gonna definitely finna hop on a plane and go. I'm finna go. Mm. I'm finna go to Michigan to, to visit my um, my daughter and grandson and mom and them. I ain't seen them in about three years. Man, I ain't been to the state of Arizona to spend me and you with the fucking baby. Yeah. That was it. That was it. That's the only time. The whole time I've been in Arizona, I've been in Arizona this entire fucking time. Like, I ain't went nowhere. I ain't seen Michigan. I ain't nowhere. I, I think I want to come to Florida. Yeah. That's what I think I want to go to. Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. We come to Atlanta. We can go crazy. We can go oh. straight crazy when you come down here because it is nothing but love down here in this sunny, sunny, sunny thing. I think I also do. I might, I might even go to one of these little, uh, might go to Daytona Beach or something like that. Go hit the, go see the ocean again one time. Cocoa Beach. Uh, go to one of them. I know they're going to be popping out there. Oh, man. Uh, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Everybody going to have money. It's going to be retarded. It's going to be, it's going to be like how we talk. Like when Obama got president. Mm-hmm. You know how we talk? Yeah, everybody gonna have their nice little check. Everybody gonna have more. You may not be fucking rich. You greedy bastard. Yeah. You can buy a house for like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You got more than what you had before. And I'm more fucking about six hundred twelve. Who the fuck you? I'm happy. Yeah. That makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm smiling because there's a lot I, I can I, do. I've been hearing niggas. I've been hearing niggas. Niggas are poor and shit. Like, oh, nigga, they give me money. Yeah. Take it. Yeah, they give me twelve hundred. You lucky. Oh, you, you don't want for me. Yeah, yeah. It ain't shit. It ain't shit. It ain't shit. All right, give it to me. Bet. You could be, you could be right. like me. Yeah, you could be like us. You could still. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to. Yeah, send it right here. Yeah, I can show them if you use it. They, they probably going to try to choke. They probably going to try to choke hold me out of mine anyway. So. I know they going to choke hold me out of mine, but I'm going to get strong in me. I'm going to get strong in me. Fuck it, you know, just this. Yeah, just give me like two hundred. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You did. Just give me like two hundred. I take two hundred. I'm satisfied with that, boy. Two hundred, boy. That's love. Thank y'all. Good looking. Thank you very much. Good looking. Thank you very much. Cause I already know. And I know, and I know, and I know where that money I'm not getting. I know where it's going. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's going toward the bill. That yep. Yeah, it's going toward it's going toward a, a bill that I can get rid of for the rest of my life. After a certain amount of money, they they can't get no more. And then when you pay them off, and they you ain't got no other kids or nothing like that, it's a done deal. Nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Uh, so flawed. So flawed. We gonna get them. Oh, gonna... Yeah, we gonna go ahead and we gonna go ahead and spin out on another podcast because I got boy, we gonna spend a whole one on that one. Boy, that's a whole one. I might have to stretch that out to an hour, boy. Just because. No, no, it's just good and evil. Yes, yes, and whoever started it. Whoever started it, whatever baby daddy made, they baby mama mad enough to start that. Um, I would like to go back in history and, and wholeheartedly punch you in your throat. Because you oh, didn't mess up a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's back in the day, though. You know, back in the day, back in the day, you never go back. You never go back. Yeah. You never go back. 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 You back. You never go back. You never go back. You never go Right, That's a whole another one. Don't give me, give me fucking start on that shit. Yeah, that's mad, bro. That'll be, yeah, please don't get started on that shit. But, uh, I don't know. Focus on weed. Don't get weed. Listen to the horror. That's going to be a good day. Um, everybody's going to be happy. It's going to be, be loud. So, y'all, I would like to thank y'all once again for joining this podcast, period. You know, me and my bros. Uh, this is the first one. So you might call it um, a smooth rough draft <laughs> is what I'll call it. Episode one, you know, smooth rough draft um, that podcast. Y'all can tune in Every Thursday. Um, you know, some Thursdays life is life. So some Thursdays I might not post some Thursdays. Most Thursdays I am, but some Thursdays I might just slip a little bit. So, hey, you already know what it is, but be looking for it. On Thursdays, you'll probably catch my brother as a reoccurring guest. So you'll be able to hear him too as well and opinions and all that good stuff. And that's what it is. So with that being said, yo, this has been Dot. 
This has been the podcast. From my block to your block. What's popping? We'll see y'all later.